Hi, my name is Beate Chalette and I'm the founder of The Women's Code. And today I want to talk to you about something sort of very, very girly. Now, if you are anything like me, you're a woman who wants everything. And everything means you want a phenomenal love story, you want great Im intimacy and passion, you want a job that makes you just be overjoyed to go to where you make a contribution, you want to be a phenomenal mother or you know a great aunt or whatever that might be. Uh, and it is very difficult for women to sort of take all of our desires and put them all together. Because if this is us and there's like all these other things out there, right, then we are being now bombarded with all the things and instead of us enjoying all these different things, it becomes our endless to-do list. And I bet many of you have these to-do lists where all we do all day long is check, 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 check. So what happens when we as women remain in this checklist uh, feeling, if you so want to, you know, because getting stuff done is very masculine. Receiving is very feminine. So while I'm totally all alpha, and believe me, I like a good negotiation and to, and to push the envelope as hard as I can, but what I found is when I come home and I'm connecting with my man, that suddenly I'm still in the checklist mode. You know, we're still needing to get stuff done. But that's not what a connection and relationship and being feminine is all about. And if we deny ourselves to actually shift out of that male go-getter attitude in that female attitude, we are missing out on a lot of the stuff that touches our heart. So what I want you to consider is that if we, if we believe that we are in, in work, a lot of time in the alpha mode, and then we come home, but at home we want to be in the feminine mode. And Pat Allen says you have to make a decision on whether you want to be cherished or respected. I choose to be respected at work, but at home I want to be cherished. I definitely want to be the woman. So that means I have to tone down my alpha. So the best way to do this is to connect with your man who, believe me, probably would love to cherish you a little bit more if you could only get out of that alpha go-getter attitude and find a way, instead of coming home and immediately rushing to all the things that need to be done on your checklist at home, but rather take these 10-15 minutes to really relax and get into your feminine uh, a part of self. And that could be by doing something very feminine or by sitting down with your man and just decompressing, having a glass of wine or a glass of, uh, or a cup of tea, whatever it is that you like. But, you know, again, the message really is if you are a woman who wants everything, you need to know and you want to know how to shift from your alpha into the feminine. It just makes for a much richer experience. If you have any questions about the women's code or any questions on how to in uh, the world of how women can succeed and lead, please do let me know. I would love to answer your question. Until next time, goodbye.